I always give in to others to keep peace, to maintain respect and for a sense of belonging. My problem stems back to when I was disowned by my family. And I'm not making an excuse. Yeah, you are. It's all right. Anybody would. But it seems to me that I've not found closure to this. It's not that you haven't found closure. It's that every day you open it up again. In other words, closure is not the problem. Opens yours the problem. We made that word up. Don't try to translate it if you're listening to us in another language. I have not found closure to this. I easily gravitate to anyone who's nice to me and I begin to place my trust in that person. We're not asking you to not trust people and we're not asking you to not enjoy people who are nice to you. We just don't want that to be more important to you than your own awareness of where you landed on the scale. You said something so powerful here. You said, and then I begin to listen and then I notice that I no longer have a voice and I've fallen into their trap. But friend, this is a trap of your own making. They're not trying to trap you. They just don't know what they're doing. They can't control the way they think about anything. They could. They're just not. And, and we don't want you running around trying to find those who do. Because even if you do, if you find someone who's tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and they just love you unequivocally and it feels really good to you, now you've got to handcuff yourself to them and them to you because you can't let them out of your sight because you are dependent upon them. But be not dependent upon someone. Love them and appreciate them and let them be your objects of attention to which you flow this pure positive energy. But let your friendship, let your relationship be with your own inner being. Let your awareness of where you stand on this emotional scale be all about that. Do you know that your inner being doesn't need you to be all the way up the emotional scale in order to be giving you undivided attention? In fact, that's the reason that you ever even feel negative emotion because your inner being is looking at you, feeling about you with love. And when you're not feeling about yourself with love, then you feel the discord between your inner being's thoughts and your inner thoughts, your own thoughts, your inner being's thoughts and your thoughts, your inner being's vibration of thought, your vibration of thought. That's all that is. I've fallen into their trap. It's not their trap. You didn't fall into their trap. You fell into your misunderstanding that you must please others in order to like yourself. We will admit that is a trap. That is the most horrible trap. That is a trap. That is a trap. If you knew how many of you are in that trap, all of you, all of you are in that trap to one degree or another. Get out of the trap. Don't trap yourself in that trap. Don't let what anybody else thinks about anything you do be more important than you knowing where you landed. What difference does it make where you landed if you're not stuck there? The only reason that you would ever worry about landing someplace is if when you landed, you had no ability to get up and go someplace else. And that is not the case because every time you land, say oh look where I landed do I like it here yeah I really do then describe it to yourself and others but if you landed someplace and it sucks even the slightest little bit then do the work find a thought that feels better dear Abraham I've done a lot of work on myself in the last two years to deal with my family disowning me. My mother is a narcissist and I've spent my whole life trying to please her, but to no avail. All right, so let's just do some landing right now because it doesn't matter if your mother is a narcissist. It doesn't matter if she was one or if she is one. It only matters that when you think about her, you land on the emotional scale in blame or maybe revenge. Now, maybe you don't anymore. Maybe these are just words that you offer. This is something for you to figure out. Maybe you really don't still feel that way. It's been a long time. You haven't spent your whole life trying to please her. Really, have you? Where does that thought land you? When Abraham says to you, you don't have to keep landing there, where does that land you? 
We want you to realize that you're landing, 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 landing for all kinds of reasons. We're just going to read through this. Just while you were writing this, I've done a lot of work on myself to deal with my family disowning me. Now, disowning you could have landed you in insecurity. We're sure it did back then. Could have landed you in blame. We're sure it did. Could have landed you in revenge over and over and over again in anger. We know it did. But today, my family disowning me could land you in freedom. It could. In other words, these topics, these superficial topics, we like that word, these superficial, seemingly important topics, The topic of being disowned could land you in the depths of despair and insecurity or in the heights of freedom and empowerment. So the topic is irrelevant. All that matters is where you landed. And we're saying to a whole lot of you, you've been drinking the Kool-Aid that when that happens to you, somebody gives somebody close to you the label narcissist and condemns you to an entire life of not liking yourself. That doesn't make any sense at all. Where you landed when you were little doesn't mean that you landed there. This is the same place today. Where you landed now, where you landed now, where you landed now. How do you feel now? How do you feel now? How do you feel now? And more important, what are you going to do about it? You said, I can't seem to get past the sadness for them not caring for you. Yes, you can. Because your inner being cares for you. And the fact that somebody who's disconnected from their inner being can't care for you, that's like saying, I went to a well that had no water in it and the well disrespected me by not giving me any water. And we say, the well was dry. Go find one that isn't. There is so much love for you. Esther and her friend were loved all over by stranger after stranger after stranger after stranger who rendezvoused with them not on superficial subjects but on core subjects you can do it too